everybody, this is Lee of CJ Drill. Now, I want to tell you what I have here. This is a textured roller made out of plastic loop. It's very common. You can find it in any home improvement store. But I got to tell you, they're pricey. This roller costs about $9. And it creates a very common stippled pattern. And what I will tell you is, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it and I don't use it. What I use instead for a stipple effect is just a common paint roller. And this will serve your purpose for a third of the price. And I'm going to show you how both rollers perform coming up next. Now, whether I'm working inside my shop or I'm outside in the elements, right in the rain, all weather notebooks, keep my notes in good shape. Right in the rain notebooks, repel rain, sweat, and grime. So here's why I don't recommend these rollers. They're really intended to be used with textured paint. So when it comes time to clean them out, they clean out really, really well with textured paint because it's paint. But when you use joint compound, oh, it's very different. You can't clean the joint compound out of those loops and it hardens to a rock. I'm going to show you how both rollers perform with joint compound. The results are similar with the regular paint roller for one third the cost. Okay, so I've got my joint compound on a roller. And you have to use a roller to apply the joint compound before you put the pattern in. Let's first just get our joint compound on our drywall. Now depending upon how heavy you want the texture is how loosely or stiffly you mix the joint compound. Ours is just, you know, it's at an ideal mix. It's not too heavy. It's not too loose. It's going to produce some nice peaks. So let me continue to roll the joint compound on and then I'll use that texture roller. I've got my texture on. Now it's time to put in the design. And this is the way you do it regardless of what kind of texture roller you're using. You've seen me use all kind of pattern textured rollers before and you will always use a paint roller to apply the texture, right? Well now we're going to put in the design with the texture roller that I showed you, the plastic loop. It just creates what's called a stipple effect. I want you to watch. So there's our texture created by the plastic loop roller. It's a very tight pattern. Let me just roll it out here with the regular roller, okay? You know, now that I've got a good amount of joint compound applied to the drywall, I have to put in the texture. And to do that, you have to make certain that you remove all the excess texture out of the roller to get a good stipple effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the camera person come in tight so you can really see it. What I will tell you is it's not identical to the plastic loop uh, texture roller that I showed you earlier, but it's a similar pattern. It's a stipple effect pattern, and to tell you the truth, I prefer this a lot more. You don't need special rollers like this roller here that cost almost $10 to do basically the same thing. So we're going to do a side-by-side -side now so you can compare one texture against the other. So right here we have the texture that was applied with the plastic loop roller. And now we'll just go below down here and here's the texture that was applied with just a common paint roller. Now I gotta ask you, which texture do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below the video because I'd like to hear your opinion. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time. Hey guys, check out Right in the Rain. I've been using their notebooks for about a year and a half. I'm going to place a link in the description below the video so you can check them out for yourself.